Hey guys, Queenie here with a new game. Uh, it's another RPG maker. It's Alice Mare. Once again, like Dreamy Mary, I know nothing about this game, but I am excited. Let's move my mouse out of here. I'm excited to try it out. Anyway, um, I would like to formally apologize though for not uploading in like forever. Things have been a bit hectic and you know, I still don't have like a set schedule as to when I'm gonna be uploading. I, I'm, I was hoping it'd be like, every other day so it'd be like Monday Wednesday and Friday and such but uh you know things get a bit hectic and I'm not able to record as often as I would like to but um yeah so like Dreaming Mary I know nothing about this game but I'm still excited to play it so let's uh get into this new game The ant told me that the frog is bad. The frog told me that the cat is bad. The cat told me, no, the rabbit is the worst of them all. So I... So that's roughly how life will be for you here. If you don't understand, there's a note in your room that explains it all. No one will ask anything of you here. There are a few things to keep to, but it should be a peaceful life. In addition, here. Received a notebook. Your own personal notebook. Use it however you like, for sad or for happy times. Just write down any feeling you have and give it to me, would you? Ha! But one of the children just likes to draw in it. That's fine by me, too. Now, there's still time before dinner. You should greet the other children. Leave and go straight left, and you'll find your rooms. They're all good children. It may not be immediate, per se, but you'll get along, I'm sure. Ah, and myself? Just call me teacher. I look forward to having you here, Alan. Um, my name is Alan. Hello. I can save. Can I go to bed? I don't want to talk. A variety of books. 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 Hey, teacher. Tell me any of your concerns. I'll do whatever I can. I'm glad to have you here. Okay, basic controls. Arrow keys are numpad. Okay. Okay. There's no confirmation to resetting. What? Let me. Oh, I have to press Z. Teacher. Dining room. It's locked. Oh gosh, a phone. Mm, maybe I should go to the dining room. That seems like the best course of action right now. Hello, is anybody here? A strange design. Warm, it's locked. Well, no one's here. I gotta get used to having to press Z to open like the doors. What's outside? Okay. Apparently not anything I can do. Stella. Hi, Stella. Oh, that's odd that you can speak. Probably because you don't really feel like you're alive. Alan, is it? I'm Stella. Yes, I hate living people. But the people here don't really feel that way. And among them all, you feel the least alive. Hmm, maybe not quite right. Something about you is different. Hey, that's a compliment, all right. Okay. Ah, no, I hit it too many times.
do's and don'ts. Avoid leaving your rooms as much as possible except during free time. Potty breaks, okay, don't take things from other rooms. Don't break anything if you do, tell teacher. Don't force your way into locked rooms. Don't hit other people. Tell teacher about anything that troubles you or that you want. At the very bottom, there's some a drawing of some kind of zebra. Okay. Books. Bye, Stella. Who's this? Joshua. So, my name's Brown. Oh wait, was it Marcus? Might have been Nicole. Alan, huh? Or maybe it was Helen. Oh well, nice to meet ya. There's loads of frogs out in the garden here. Spiders and slugs too. Lots of critters. Teacher doesn't pay much attention, so I like quietly putting them on his shoulder and stuff. Okay. Is this gonna be the same thing? Yeah. A lion. Chelsea. Holy mother of bears. There's so many. Can I have one? That's... Uh, um, I'm Chelsea. N nice to meet you. It's nothing. Um... It's nothing. Okay, she's just gonna keep saying the same thing. A cat. Really? Not a bear? Who's this? Letty and Rick. Wow! I've never seen you before. Oh, you're the one teacher mentioned. Call me Letty. There's also Rick, but he's not here right now. He's a very nice boy. And you're Alan. I'd be really happy if we could play. Nice to know you. A dove. So can... So you share a bedroom with Rick? Okay. Bye, Letty. Alan, this is my room. Filled with lots of your clothes. A rabbit. Hmm. <clears throat> You don't really need to go. This is the girl's bathroom. Okie doke. So... Can I go upstairs? Library. A sofa. A candle. Lots of difficult books. Books on illness? Illness. I think he's just gonna repeat the... Lots of storybooks. Lots of picture encyclopedias. Okay. A mess of all kinds of books. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna assume that these are all the same. Okay. What's this? What? What is this? Are those like papers on the floor? Or is that like the wood? I have no idea. The music is just constantly playing. I wish it wasn't. What is this? A butterfly specimen. Oh, that's what that is. That's freaky. Oh, there's more kids up here? Room 101. It's locked. Hmm. So, I guess I go talk to teacher now. So, I'm gonna assume that Letty and Rick are the same person because I haven't seen anyone else around. Unless, like, I don't know. You've introduced yourself. How did it go? I see. I'm relieved you could carry some conversation with them. You're just in time for dinner. Let's go to the dining room. Yoki doki. Now, what do you say? Thanks for the meal, teacher. All right, return to your rooms and get ready to go to bed. You can go to each other's room to talk, but don't go to the second floor. Dismissed. You haven't been here long, but you seem used to things already. How are your memories doing? 
I see. Well, no. Don't push yourself to remember. Just take it nice and slow. I'm sure you'll remember everything. Say, do you want anything? I'll buy you whatever I can afford. Ah, well, that I can't give you. It's not something you can buy. Sorry, I'll keep it in mind. Well, I'll buy you some new books. You like to read, don't you, Alan? I'm impressed by how many words you can understand already. Teachers, not so smart. I don't really get difficult things. Oh, it's nothing. Alan, if I told you there was a world unlike our world, would you believe me? No, it's just a fairy tale. But should you be invited to such a world, I'd advise against opening that door. All right, get back to your room. I need to lock up too. Get to bed quick. Okie dokie. So I can go talk to everyone. Quite a while ago, I said you felt the least alive out of anyone. But actually, teacher seems about equally devoid of life. Perhaps it's his lack of clean cleanliness. His hair is so unkempt. It's even longer than mine. I told him that once, and he made a face like he'd eaten a grapefruit. Strange voices? Not interested. What? You talk to Rick? He's around right now. There's Letty, and then there's this other guy. He's just there all of a sudden. Really freaks you out. Pisses me off to no end, honestly. Hmm. Okay. Nice to meet you. No, this is the first time. We look rather similar, but I'm not Letty. My name's Rick, and you're Alan, right? She told me about you. When Letty goes to bed, I watch the room for her. Well, maybe it's not quite that. Oh well, nice to meet you. Yeah, I think I think this is like a a hospital for mentally. Hmm. No, I don't know, cause I was. Huh. I have no idea. I was gonna say maybe it's a hospital for like for like kids with uh mental problems but I don't know I have no idea teacher Step into your bed? Nope. So you told me not to go to the second floor, but I feel like that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Hmm. Oh, I'm like freaking out. I feel like the music is just gonna take the biggest turn. Hmm. Teacher's nowhere to be found. He told me to go to bed. Let me go to bed. Why can't I get in my bed? Um. Hmm. Did I just not? Joshua was talking about voices coming from the second floor. But he's always lying. Best not believe a word he says. Anyway, get to bed soon. Don't be fooled. Teacher's scary when he gets mad. I just went to the second floor. Can I get in your beds? I can! It's getting colder and colder. Keep warm when you sleep. I hear weird voices, Joshua said. That's scary. I wonder if I can sleep by myself. 
Hey, did you know? There's weird voices coming from the second floor at night. All like, help. Huh? Ugh, no way. I don't want to check it for myself. If you're so curious, why don't you go, Alan? Hey, but don't tell teacher or he'll get mad at me. Nope. F that noise. F that noise. The music just stopped. Like, straight up. I really can't sleep. Really? You're not going to let me sleep? Mentally prepare myself. Oh. Who's there? I'm sorry, teacher. Alan, I heard a loud crash. What were you doing up here? Didn't I tell you not to get ready to get ready for bed and not go upstairs? I'm sorry, teacher. The butterfly said to help. I see. Well, while the butterfly may look alive, 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 it's long since dead, died. Something without a soul can't speak, can it? What a mess. Are you hurt? You seem fine. That's good. These glass shards are dangerous. I'll clean them up, so go to your room and sleep. Never mind. Just had a little headache. No need to apologize, really. Just don't do it again. There, 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 there. It's okay. Good night. I don't like the, the rain. It's freaking me out. A cat? It's a meow! What? There it is. There it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What, 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 what is this? What? <gasps> yeah! Yipe! Jesus, what the hey? Now, if this isn't a little, a strange little human I've never seen before. What's that? Why, yes, if you say you're dreaming, Alice, then sure, this is a dream. Because here, what Alice says and does is everything. That's not your name? Oh, no, no. Alice is Alice. And that's because I say so. That contradicts what I just said. Maybe you're onto something, kid. This place is jock full of weirdos, so I'm just one of them. <laughs> oh, don't say that. You don't stop in the middle of a good meal, do you? Same for dreams. Gotta savor the taste. Oops, well, I'm busier than I look. All right, I'll smell you. I was told by teacher not to... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, I can't. What? <laughs> Just immediately turned back around like, ah, uh, yeah, not today, Satan. Not today. Hey. Sigh. Oh, another visitor? That makes six. Hmm? That doesn't add up. Oh, never mind. Good evening, Alice, and welcome. I'm the White Rabbit, the guide of this world. It's rather big, so call me if you need anything. Though I should note, 
I won't move from this spot. It's just a pain, really. And right now, there's the pressing matter of the keys to the world doors gone missing. Four of the five are no longer here, but I think I can hazard a guess as to who has them. As previously stated, I don't want to move an inch. So Alice, I'd like to ask you to recover them. How does that sound? Well, I'll make you anyway. Luckily, I do have one of the world's keys on hand, so you can already go in one. Knowing who we're dealing with, I'm sure he's scattered them all across the world. Once you find them, please bring it back to Once you find one, please bring it back to me. And don't be shy about asking any other questions you may have. But only once, I don't care to repeat myself again and again. That was a, this guy's a pain face just now, isn't it? Oh well, I hope to have your assistance. Yes, what is it? About the worlds. Generally speaking, a world is a place that embodies the hidden side of an Alice's heart. Because their surface heart is soon to vanish, you see. They may be locked or unlocked, but primarily are locked. People don't like others trampling on their hearts after all. I manage the keys, so just ask and you can go in and out, so long as you recover them for me, Alice. Incidentally, the doors can be opened from within without a key, but not from the outside. The world doors are, can be found in the area behind me. Oh, I missed what he said. Well then, I hope to have your... Okay. About the white rabbit. About me, other than being a guide? I like children, I suppose. Well then, I hope to have your assistance. About the Cheshire Cat. He is another guide. You met him earlier, yes? The sight of him makes me sick. A very ill-natured cat he is. I have him to thank for this ear and this off-color skin. Our tastes don't match at all, and frankly, I hate everything about him. Next time we meet, I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Well then, I hope to have your assistance. No. Oh. Is that so? Well then, I hope to have your assistance. The writing is too messy to read. Hum dilly dum dum. Hum. Well, I think I'm gonna end this here. Cause I don't wanna start anything. I lost my notebook. I don't wanna start like a what's gonna seem super intense. So, alright. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Once again, I'm like super sorry about not uploading. It just, I don't have a set schedule and things have just been really hectic as of late. But, um, I hope this new adventure of Alice Mayer is one that we can both enjoy. Both, like there's only two of us. <laughs> that we can all enjoy together. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye!